This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT English meaning question. With a meaning question, we want to look and make sure that the author's purpose is being conveyed through the words, and also that we're not saying anything redundant or really awkward. So let's look. We're trying to say that the architect of the Capitol is in charge of making arrangements with the authorized authorities in charge for the ceremonies. Okay, so we see here that this is a really redundant phrase because authorized authorities, so an authority is someone who has been authorized for a task. So we wouldn't want to say authorized authorities, that's already bad. And in charge, an authority is someone who's in charge of a certain task. So this is doubly redundant. So we try to avoid using redundant uh, phrases because they add to the length of the sentence and they just sound bad. So we're going to get rid of this because of those two counts of being redundant. Choice four also has this redundantness with um, in the authorities in charge, so that's bad. It also has an unnecessary comma, so it says making arrangements with the authorities in charge, comma, for ceremonies. We wouldn't need a comma, there's no reason to have a comma here, so we're not going to put one here. So this is also wrong. So now we have a choice between the proper authorities in choice two and those. So let's look at this those because it's a little bit different. So if we were to insert this those here into here, it would say making arrangements with those for ceremonies held in the building. We don't know who those is because we haven't been introduced to these authorities before. So it sounds very strange to refer to those and have no idea who those is referring to. So that's not going to be good. Choice two is great because proper authorities is not redundant. It's the authorities who are needed for this certain task. And it is not going to have any punctuation issues. It's not ambiguous. So choice two is our issue, our uh, answer.